Let us get into the comparison. My first port of call is of course to compare to FSR, as FSR's issues are known and they are basically found in every game with FSR. So I want to see, at least in this title, if and how PSSR can fix it. This is the most relevant comparison I think for players on console, as PSSR is typically going to replace FSR in games for those people that have a PS5 Pro. The first thing I want to look at is Disocclusion Fizzle. Even with motion blur getting in the way, I think it's easy to see Disocclusion Fizzle in Ratchet and Clank while using FSR. Moving objects like Ratchet here, and the areas directly in front of him or next to him, fizzle in motion as new areas are revealed with each twist of his arms and body. In aggregate, it just makes it look like FSR is failing to anti-alias edges in a good way while things move. Thankfully, like DLSS or XESS, PSSR does not suffer from this issue in this title. In full speed, motion side-by-sides, I think this lack of fizzling on the PSSR side here on the left is pretty obvious. It just looks more stable and natural and less aliased with less artifacts surrounding Ratchet as he's moving around. Slow down, we can see the same thing where even motion blur being on and matched on PC really can't hide that FSR fizzle on the right here. If we pause, we can see just how much better PSSR is in image quality here. Look at the edges of Clank, Ratchet's head, or the areas surrounding them in the FSR side of the view here. They're aliased, fuzzy, and with a kind of ringed sharpen look at times. While PSSR is softer, but it has much better anti-aliasing and none of the disocclusion fizzle artifacts. To me, this is a huge difference, as disocclusion fizzle, as I have always called it, is one of FSR's biggest issues across titles, and PSSR in this title solves it. It looks better, and the difference will perhaps be even more interesting to investigate in other titles, as they will not necessarily have as high internal resolutions as this one has, and FSR fares worse when internal resolutions are lower. Another FSR problem across games is with particles. When picking up this gun with FSR on, note how the particles have this wispy ghosty look as they show up. This is found nearly across every game with FSR, and this one is no exception even using the latest version of the scaler. In comparison, PSSR resolves the particles in a way that actually respects the original artwork. There's none of the ghosted wispy look that shows up, and it looks like the art essentially should. This applies to all particle effects in the game as far as I can tell, including confetti. With FSR 3.1, those small bits of confetti which presumably lack good motion vectors resolve in a way that is less than flattering, where they lack good anti-aliasing, and they phase in and out of existence as they are moving, as they are not stably reconstructed over time. With PSSR, it comparatively does a lot better at reconstructing the particles as they move, giving them a coherent shape that stays consistent as the particle is moving. Since the particles are not disappearing and wispy, it looks like there are actually a lot more of them in the air here with the PSSR view. Even though the actual amount of confetti in the air here is same in both versions of the game. It is just that FSR cannot reconstruct them well. Another area where you can see this with is with hologram signs. FSR has trouble with these in the game for the similar reasons that it has issues with particles. Transparent things don't tend to have good motion vectors, so holograms look lower res than the opaque geometry, and they're not well anti-aliased. PSSR, in comparison, does a lot better job here, applying anti-aliasing to that hologram, and it attempts to reconstruct its resolution. It's not perfect, of course, with PSSR, but I would say the hologram looks a lot better on the left than it does look on the right. Things lacking good motion vectors is always an issue with FSR, and it applies to other areas in Ratchet and Clank, like this grass here. For some reason, perhaps due to motion vectors being wrong, FSR thinks the grass is moving when it really is not, so it starts blurring the grass heavily in a specific direction, making it almost look like the pixels of the grass are flowing water. Machine learned upscalers tend to discriminate better here and PSSR tries to clamp down that issue. It's still not perfect on the PSSR side, I would argue, but it does manage to keep the grass from looking as odd as it does with FSR, where it barely looks like grass anymore. And in fairness to PSSR, no image reconstruction technology can avoid this issue completely here, as it appears to be an art asset issue in this game. In side-by-sides with the other scalers, I would say PSSR is right up there with DLSS in how much it clamps down on the issue in this scene here. 
The last area where FSR has specific problems in Ratchet and Clank is how it resolves bright surfaces. If you see the sun glinting off something in this game, it often becomes unstable and flickers a bit with FSR like these buildings at a distance here. The area of the geometry where the sun's reflection is showing pulsates. And this is an area where PSSR manages to do a better job than FSR, where it doesn't reproduce that flicker on the bright edges as we can see in the FSR image. So in general, as this example shows, I think PSSR tends to avoid the significant image quality issues that FSR has in this title, and that bodes well for other titles. But this does not mean that it does not have issues of its own.